<clears throat> Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Downey and today we're going to be discussing this interesting article I came across where they put, uh, they use 200 milligrams of Anavar a day in 20 women. So I spent a good deal of time trying to find this study um, because I saw it referenced in a literature review um, but the issue was the study was nowhere to be found on the internet. I had to access it through the Michigan University of Michigan's website. So this study is called the Hormonal Therapy of Women with Metastatic Breast Carcinoma um, with, okay, that's a long chemical name, but essentially it's Oxandrolone or Anavar. Um, so the study isn't really the best because it wasn't extensive and it had a small sample size and it wasn't, uh, methods weren't explained in detail. However, there were 20 women in the study and all of them had metastatic breast can cancer, meaning they had cancer which had spread to the rest of the body, either the lungs, liver, bones, skin. Um, but another interesting part about the study is not only that they used 200 milligrams of Anavar, uh, and that for those who don't know, Anavar tends to be run between 5 to 100 a day. 100 is quite a lot, but um, yeah. So another interesting part of the study was the duration, because it was indefinite, meaning they essentially continued Anavar up until re remission or was observed or there was progression of the disease or intolerability of the drug was observed. Also they obviously stopped it if the patient had died. So again they were treated for 200 milligrams a day. I'm not too sure why they chose this dose but here are the results. So as you can see they had um, 20 patients of varying ages, ages range from the 30s up until 70s, and um, as you can see the longest someone had used 200 milligrams for was 108 days, some used it for 92 days, and that's 200 milligrams a day and that accumulates up to like 2.6 uh, grams in some cases. Um, so as you can see, about 6 of the 20 experienced toxic side effects, which included nausea and um, emesis, or essentially vomiting, and edema. Although I'm not sure the edema was related to the anivore, since um, edema is quite common in metastatic breast cancer, and both of these patients had lung um, a metastasis, which would probably lead to right heart failure and thus edema or swelling. Um, but, uh, so this essentially suggests that, um, 200 milligrams does become quite toxic to the gastrointestinal lining because of the nausea and vomiting that was experienced. Um, and I disagree with individuals who say that nausea or vomiting on orals is a sign of liver toxicity, as you'll see now, because that isn't a common symptom of liver toxicity, but I'll show you why now that nausea and vomiting isn't necessarily um, a sign of hepatotoxicity. So what was interesting in the study is that there were no renal or hepatotoxic um, effects observed, so that meant there, were no kidney da there was no kidney damage or liver effects. And I find that hard to believe because a few individuals had spread to the liver, which means their LFT or liver function test would be skewed, but perhaps they meant there was no worsening of the tests. And again, this emphasizes that the nausea and vomiting wasn't related to liver dysfunction, and it was more related to irritability of the drug to the gut lining, which is what I've always thought happens with um, oral steroids. So this is interesting because uh, one would expect there to be liver or renal damage at such a dose, especially if it was continued for almost 108 days. But again, it just supports the finding that Anavar is well tolerated and it isn't um, metabolized extensively in the liver. Again, they didn't mention any um, 
they made no mention of virilization, but um, perhaps they weren't looking for this, but um, again, one would expect it 200 milligrams for there to be virilization or uh, typical androgenic effects, especially on women at this dose. Um, and unfortunately, they weren't looking at anabolic parameters, which is why I mentioned that this study wasn't the best in terms, or wasn't really um, the best in terms of what we'd be interested in, especially in terms of bodybuilding. But I thought it would just um, be more out of interest. So whilst the study isn't extensive and didn't go into much detail, we do learn that 200 milligrams a day for 104 days or an average of 50 days is well tolerated, um, except in uh, about a quarter or a fifth of the patients, um, a quarter to a fifth if you exclude the patients who had edema. Um, and this kind of is uh, supports the fact that it's uh, well tolerated through its non-extensive metabolism, uh, metabolism by the liver or kidneys. And it's, ex it's interesting to note that they didn't make any mention of virilization and that the only issue they experienced were gastrointestinal disturbances. Um, but obviously I wouldn't advise anyone to take Anavar at any dose. But this is just interesting to note since um, typical doses do not uh, reach 200 milligrams a day, especially for the duration that it was used. But um, I hope you found this uh, study interesting like I did. Um, and be sure to leave a like, comment, and let me know what you think below.